All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Life Goes On here on Bite Size Beefs, and we are back at it with more puzzle action and more feeding of the Jeff. And here we are with a prize in every block right after we finished Tenuous Link and got the Cup of Bad Ideas. So, onward we go. Oh, looks like an icy, frosty level, or just a misty level. Ooh, misty. So, you know what? We only have one way to go, so we go up! Whoa! Ooh, nice. Ah, uh, we will need ice cubes here. Or... Oh, wait, no, this is the ice cube. Interesting! The tacky Archduke Broderick Burke of Skull Mountain has found something interesting. And interesting is better than uninteresting. Ha ha ha. And then we ride! There we go. Look at that. Bam. And then we push this all the way to the top, and we follow it. We follow it. Actually, we get on top of it, because that's how we do. That's how we do. And then, how do we do, though? How do we do? Interesting. I think we might need to kill the tacky Archduke and get Countess Ellen Grumbles in here, because she is the one who truly requires the ability to finish the puzzle. But she'll be shot out of a cannon because reasons, I guess, that aren't quite clear to me at the moment. Oh, here we go. A button. Bammo. Tee hee. I hit a button. Tee hee. Tee hee. Now, we need to be able to press this. Ah, there we go. And so then I think we can make this jump. Yes, we can. And then pushing this up and over will reveal that it indeed makes the cake. Yes, it makes the cake. <laughs> yes, that's what I said. It makes the cake. I know how to get Jeff. I know how to get Jeff. Hotty, hotty, ha, ha. Ike of Ludford Expert is the one who knows how to get Jeff. Even though, actually, I already knew how to get Jeff. I just missed my chance to get Jeff because I'm a dumb, dumb, dingery, dumb, dumb, do. I'm just supposed to ride the cup all the way across. So let's do that. We'll restart level real quick. Just real quick. Real quick restart that level because we know how to get Jeff. And I would hate to miss my opportunity to get Jeff. Because you know Jeff. We love Jeff. He's our best boy. He's our bestest of boys. So here we go. And then we ride. And then we ride! Well, that's only to get up here. Because now we need to hit this with the Supreme Natasha. The Supreme Natasha. That is the biggest and best of Natashas. There we go. And Kayla, Drifter, feeds the Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Look at that. And we're right back. The old-fashioned Countess Adrienne Mutton is the one who makes it across. And makes it back just as we were. See, look. Look at this. It's fantastic. And then we keep that there, and then we push this down. And then, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. And that should pull it up. And we're good. We should have... G g come on, jump. Jump over the thing, please. I was stuck. I was stuck. Come on, please. Thank you. Thank you, please. Hello, please. <laughs> I forget what that joke is actually from. The whole hello, please. But, blah, blah, ammo. There we are. And we have... Reverend Rhett Hutchinson, Gravedigger. Ooh. I think we might need to uh, hit this with the ye old cannon. Here we are. Let's do it. Reverend Rhett Hutchinson, the Gravedigger, shall blast it off with a cannon! And he hit the button, didn't he? He, he bounced off of it and hit the button. That was so weird. But now we have the left-handed Thomas Mirror. So does that mean he's right-handed in the mirror? Or is he left-handed in the mirror? I mean, we need to be clear on this. Is he right or left-handed? And which is he? Is he in the mirror? Or what? Frozen into a block of pure victory. Oh, and we got all the icons for that. Look at that. Jeff and the time and the squires. You know, I call them squires, but I know they're knights. And we have the cup of automated drink chilling. Oh, that's awesome! Your drinks will always be chill. Like the chillest of chill. What am I missing? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps maybe a player to play you. And now you are missing nothing. For you are now a puzzle. Complete with a start, a middle, and an end. With a player playing you. The only things that a puzzle needs. 
And I bet you our Jeff is over here. Oh, look at that. My Jeff senses are on point today. Lady Elena, last of her line. Oh, no. Lady Elena, last of your line. You get to feed Jeff, who is the last of his line. And he will keep going. And maybe he won't be the last of his line. Maybe he will find a beautiful Jeffette and have little Jeff babies. Nobody knows. But we do need this ice block. Lamb, the unsightly, I didn't read your name. Grand Stolnik Hezathoth presses the buttons of Thezathoth because he likes to press the buttons and now he is stuck. He's stuck. Oh, there we go. It let us through. Yay. Yay for adaptive physics. Now, uh, hopefully we didn't need that ice block. I hope not because I don't like when we need stuff that we forget. There we go. Now drop down, drop down, drop down. Yes, there we are. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. I blame you. So we have all these fires. But we need to most definitely. There we go. And now we... No, 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 no. I, pre uh, I pressed the wrong button. And by pressing the wrong button, I mean I hit the wrong thing. There we go, because we have to jump over it. No, we can't. We can't jump over it, can we? No. So we're going to have to... Ah, uh, so how do we get those spikes to retract then? Because we can't go over it. Do we need an ice block? Oh, don't tell me we need an ice block. Because we can't finish it without the ice block. And burp. There we go. I berserped. So here we go. We'll get it. We'll get it with the ice block. Hold on. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We can do it. 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 Please. Hello, Breeze. 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 Yes, Breeze. No. Hit. Yes, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I, although I don't know how we'll, how we will get the ice block over. It doesn't seem like it's possible, unfortunately. Although it does look like we should be able to because it's got the tracks. Either way, maybe we don't need the ice block. Maybe we just need a little bit more intuition and a little bit better jumps. Huh. Because we need the spikes there. We don't need that on. But then as soon as we hit the spikes, we El Dio. Huh. Perhaps, maybe. Just maybe. No. No, no, no. Nothing up here. I said nothing up here. Thank you. Down, please. Down, please. I've been watching the newest season of A Series of Unfortunate Events. Oh, this is Holly. My cousin's name is Holly. <laughs> Just Holly. But uh, I've been watching the newest season of A Series of Unfortunate Events with Neil Patrick Harris and the kids who I don't know the names of yet because they're not as popular as Neil Patrick Harris. So, huh. Hum. Hum diddly fum diddly dum. How do we solve this puzzle? I mean, it feels like we need an ice block to push across, but we just, we can't get an ice block over here. It's impossible. It is impossible. Actually, it's technically not impossible. I could do it. I would just require time and patience and many, many dead nights. So let's do it. Let's cheese it by doing this. Ready? Ice block. Ice block. Ice block. Ice block. And now we push him after I get another ice block because I jumped into it by accident. And then we just keep feeding him up. Keep feeding him up. Keep feeding him up until it fills. Until it fills with ice and then eventually one will fall in there one will go in one will have to eventually go in but we have to drop them because we need this one over we need all all of them we need every last one of them there we go we need every last oh I see how we need to do it and then we raise this up and then we get off that there we go and then we jump back down put this one here jump there and then we go through Huzzahs are in order. We have the ice block and thus have the key to finishing the puzzle. We are L smarterer than you. I am L smarterer than you. But first we need to clip this and then... Oh no, we've got that already. So, I, I, I just stay here. Just stay here, thank you. Thank you, please. 
But yes, I was watching the series of unfortunate events with Neil Patrick Harris, and he was playing a person called a foreigner. His name was Gunter, and he was just a foreigner. And I touched the green stuff, which I wasn't supposed to do because I'm a jerk. I'm a jerk. Always touching the green stuff. And he would always say, please. <laughs> like that was this thing between words. He was like, uh, uh, yes, thank you, please. <laughs> and so I guess that's worked its way into my vocabulary for but a moment. And, I, yeah, we just take this up and walk across. And the shadow Annabelle, or the shallow Annabelle Dudley Butcher is the one to claim the chalice of whatever this chalice is of. In retrospect, I'm not sure how we called that victory. Neither do I, to be honest. Neither do I. And we have the generic brand magic... Generic brand magic floaty gold-colored cup. <laughs> Just generic gold-colored cup. Oh, another skull mission, really? Another skull mission? Elevated sub-basement? Let's do it. We, <laughs> we got yelled at so bad <laughs> by one of our friends for the last one of these we tried to do. And guess what? It's gonna happen again. I'm gonna keep doing it. It's gonna keep happening. So we don't hit that yet. We have to jump over that. And then we hit this. And then we hit this one. And then, oh, I see. And then we can't do anything with that yet, so... I mean... Actually, couldn't we just... Take ourselves... Oh, no, because... Oh, I was going to say, can't we just take ourselves and jump over? No, I remembered why we couldn't jump over, because we can't actually reach. So, we have the new Sir Jed... Sir... Herberbader... Merkerbader... Sir Jerbad... Sir Jerb... There's nothing R there, dude. Sir Jebediah Martinez... <laughs> Uh Wow, this place is just a murder machine, literally. And you know, And no matter what we do, we will always get murdered. Every last little murder is going to happen. So I guess we can't go there yet. We have to get this one and then jump up and then get this one to seal us off from that one. But if we touch that one, then we die. So I don't know. I don't know what love is. Or perhaps maybe we need to... No, because the these things don't reach all the way. So, ah, no, we can't do that either. How then? How? Nope, don't have the angle. Very interesting, though. Very interesting. Because right, we have that, yeah, but now we can't get down. Right, when we end our life, we get that. So we have to do this without dying. But how without dying is perplexing me. It is very perplexus. Maybe we need, like, all of them on? <laughs> if we catch all of them, do we get something special? No! That, no! That's not how that one works. No! <laughs> no, we failed. We failed so bad. So let's take this bite by bite. So we need... So let's take this bite by bite. The wanted Roderick Dudley, who is a wizard. So we need to hit that button up there. But how do we hit that button up there? Right? All of these other things, we need to get up there to dismantle that. But we can't because the current. Right? Because as soon as we go up there, we hit that one. And that pretty much just ruins us. Right? Because as, as, as soon as we hit that, it shuts off the gate to that. Which means we can't get our body in there. But we do... Oh, we can go all the way up here. And what does this yield us? This yields us... Ah, the way down to Jeff. So perhaps maybe... I think we need to fall all the way down to get Jeff. No! Maybe, maybe, maybe. The wanted Roderick Dudley wizard who is not close enough to getting Jeff. So we will try that once more. But we can get up here. Ah, I see. I see now, I think. I see a way to do it. So we will then have to KO ourselves in this machine over here. The grinder. And then get back up here to dismantle this one. And then we can go all the way back up here, like so, and feed the needy Reverend David McIntosh of the past to the Jeff. There we go. We have our Jeff. And now we can turn this one on, I believe. Yes. And then we can make our way across. Huzzahs! To hit this button, which closes that way off, but also gives us a way Oh, yeah, you know, because here, we can do this. 
And then we can jump up over, hit that, or that, and then jump up here ever so gently without touching the flames. Jump. Oh, we can't make that jump. We can't make it. I, mm, mm, that infuriates me. So maybe we have to KO ourselves and maybe take a lo longer running jump? No. Huh. So, how would one perform this action, then? How would one do this? Because we can't get down anymore. So perhaps maybe we need to turn on something else before turning on one of the others. So we'll need to go ahead and hit this... Oh, no, right. Hold on. Hold on, I did it wrong. I keep doing it wrong. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting it. Don't worry. I'll get it. Don't worry. I got it. I got it, I tell you. I got it. So that turns that off. So we'll just clip this here quick. And we can flip that switch, which will lower here. Turn that off so we don't have the gravitational on us. And then we jump back across. And so perhaps maybe... We need one of these on. No, we won't. We need that off. Because this will pull us up, and we won't be able to get the chalice if that's up. So we'll need something. We'll need something to help us. How do we get up here? I didn't see, like, a uh, an ice block making machine. And I didn't see a way to get these bodies up off the floor. Unfortunately, so we can't just use them as a ladder. So, I mean, look at all those bodies over there in the meat grinder. We can climb all the way up here. Get this one down. Right, but if we touch it, we die. Right, of course. Everything we touch kills us because we're fantastic. We're just... So lucky, you guys. We're so lucky. So very lucky. So lucky. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. I'm so lucky. And then we can't go this way. Oh, hey, look. We made it. We made it through. Ah, <sighs> so. How do we finish this puzzle off? I feel like we're very close. Enfant Allison is very close. She knows she's very close. I think I know what to do. Alright, so I think I figured out how I did it. So with Riddler Matthew, what we need to do is we need to trigger this green one here to lift that right panel over there. Not hitting anything else except for this. Right? Jumping down. And then triggering this checkpoint here. But then we need to jump over this green one and do all the same thing again in order to hit the red button in the top right. Sure, Ah, darn. I accidentally hit that. But that's okay, as long as we don't hit that green orb right there, we should be fine. There are tons of dead bodies, I know. I failed a lot. So here we go. And then we need to be able to... Huh. There was a way, there was a way I was doing this. There was a way I was doing it. Hmm. Okay, no, I think I, I think I messed it up, because we only have one chance to get that green orb. All right. So we only have one chance to get that green orb. We have to hit that now, because we need to hit this and then die again. Because we can only hit this once. Like so. To then down and around, like, there we go. And then hit the checkpoint. And then go about and do it all. So it just took a little, took a little working through. But I got it, I got it. Watch this. Check this. Check this. Don't touch that checkpoint. Oh, jeez. Check this. We got this. We got it good. And then we hit that. And then we clip. Can we clip the... Nope. We can't. So we'll have to click this one. Bam. Now we're on the inside. But now we can't get it. 
So that's why this landing platform is here. So you can trigger this one, burn yourself, and then the evasive Kaylee is the one who claims this Trials Cup. That took me a little bit. It took me five, six minutes to figure that out. Victory through sacrifice of other people. So that took me 16 minutes in total for that one. New hat unlocked. You got the cup on elevated sub-basement. Fisherman's hat. Nice! Look at him. Looks looks schnazzy. But uh, it literally only took me a minute after I saw one of the green orbs triggered that platform that was blocking my way vertically. And then once I saw that, I got it. It was, wasn't too bad. But that'll be the all for this episode of Life Goes On here on Bite Size Beefs. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. This episode was a little bit better. Right? This was a good episode. And, uh... Hopefully, if you like the episode, please go ahead, feel free to hit the like button, hit subscribe, let me know if I'm doing good. I mean, it really helps if I get some positive feedback, right, or some good criticism. Positive criticisms are also good, too. And uh, we'll see you all in the next episode of Life Goes On here on Bite Size Beefs. Take care, everybody.